Hi, it's Elise here, and this is number three in my five uh, birthday tips. So I promised that I would deliver you five of life lessons last week when it was my birthday. Um, I've done the first two. If you've missed any of those, I will link to them in the comments below, but this is my third. So my third tip is one of learning that confidence is something that you can build, something that you are in control of. Now, I learned this lesson about 15 years ago. But up until that point, and bear in mind this was the vast majority of my life, up until that point, I had believed that I just wasn't in the right queue, um, the right skills queue when I was born to get a big dose of self-confidence. I always suffered from a crippling lack of self-confidence. Um, and I thought that that was just my lot. I had lots of other skills, I had lots of other gifts, um, and self-confidence just wasn't one of them. So that's how I lived the vast majority of my life. Now you might look at me now and say, come on Elise, you're kidding. Look at you, you've got bags of self-confidence. But believe me, if you had met me 15 years ago, you would have seen a very different, very underconfident individual. I even had a badge for it. I had a phrase that I used to say, I like flying under the radar. Um, and that kind of reinforced this uh, feeling that I had that Self-confidence just wasn't me. And I used to shun the limelight. I used to stay away from anything that really took me out of my comfort zone and put me on the spot. I was even really happy at work for other people to take, um, to stand up and, and take the benefit of my work and to present it as their own because I wanted to avoid doing that at all costs. And it was okay, that was okay. I was still doing good work. I was still getting some recognition. But the fact that I would not put myself in those high stress, high stakes uh, situations meant that it got to a stage in my career where I plateaued. I just could not move forward. It was also, and I didn't realize this um, at the time, but it was also affecting my personal life as well. So how did I come to the revelation that confidence is something that you are in control of, that you can build? Well, I was working with a business coach actually a wonderful business coach on a completely different subject, or I thought it was. It was about my relationships at work and how I could improve them. And she got to the bottom of what the issue was. And the issue was my lack of self-confidence and the effect it was having across all aspects of my life. And she said to me, Elise, you can change this. You have the ability to build self-confidence. It's a long road, it's uncomfortable, but it will unlock all kinds of success for you. And she was completely right. Thank you, Maxine, for those, wor those very wise words um, so many years ago. Now, I did have to work hard at this. I read every book that there was on confidence. I really took myself out of my comfort zone and I practiced, practiced, practiced. And I had the support of a great coach. Now, I know what works, I know what works for me, I know the confidence killers, I know the things you need to avoid, I know the things you need to do. Um, and I also now am reaping the rewards after many years of practicing it and many years of taking myself out of my comfort zone on a daily basis. And now I'm able to do these kinds of things. I'm able to do videos, I'm able to put myself out on social media, I'm able to speak in front of hundreds of people, um, and I'm able to perform in high stakes environments. I'm able to ask for what I think is the right thing for me going forward and the value that I'm worth. It has really transformed my life. And if this is a story that, that you can relate to and you feel as though confidence is something that you're really suffering from, you're definitely not alone. I work with a lot of coaching clients now, helping them build their self-confidence, sometimes from a very low, very low bank. So do not despair, uh, help is at hand, and I have written a free guide. Um, and my free guide, I put all of my best tips and tricks, all of the things that I have learnt, and I wanna make that available to you. So I'll put that in the comments below, and as ever, I would love to hear from you. Please do share this. Many people suffer from lack of self-confidence, and this message is something that we can give as a gift to others. Um, I always love to hear from you, so do comment, share, DM, and uh, hang around for the next tip, hopefully tomorrow. Thanks.